Hello, this is Chris with Quincy Analytics. Thanks for watching this video. Today I'd like to talk about developing a coaching strategy for IT professionals. A while ago, I had a group of nearly 50 software developers who had taken an assessment. There were 14 dimensions measured by this instrument and we had a group of nearly 50 of them. They also had uh, performance appraisal scores and when we looked at these scores there were seven different levels of performance starting at a 6.5 as the lowest score in level 1 all the way up to level 7 which ended at a 9.1 and you know that's uh, common in certain positions where a performance evaluation will be a four five six seven point system like the ratings you see on the screen here marginal would be one point provisional two, all the way up to outstanding being five points Another strategy to find what to rate would be to go to the U.S. Department of Labor's ONET online. And we would look up the name of the title. You can see here the synonyms for that role. And then I'd like to go down to the um, work activities. And here we have 12 of them. You could pick the top six, seven, eight, nine, or ten of them and then use the rating system to obtain your own custom performance evalu evaluation or performance appraisal that would be done at least once a year. So here we have a couple of incumbents and under the hood I've built a data mining model which um, is extremely powerful even with small samples due to the boosting algorithm, the ensemble boosting algorithm. And it's a, a classification or a regression tree. So here we have incumbent number one, software developer. And if I paste his results into this calculator, we see that this developer was rated at the lowest level of performance. So how do we develop a strategy to increase that? Well, it's going to be by one-on-one -on -one coaching throughout the year. Two, uh, one or two times a month, a face-to-face 20-minute -face meeting with the manager uh, who's responsible for the software developers. And we know from statistical analysis that Dimension 2, Dimension 3, and Dimension 8 on the psychometric test are predictive of general performance. And so our first strategy is to decrease the intensity of this second dimension. So coaching would help the individual apply with conscious effort and willpower to uh, decrease that trait and we go all the way from level one to level six. Uh, we also know that we need to maintain the level in uh, maintain dimension three because if that were to be lowered in a time of stress or conflict, then uh, we would lose performance. So that would be the strategy for the first uh, software developer, our first incumbent. If we look at incumbent number two and we copy that individual's uh, results into the calculator, the interactive worksheet, we see that this individual was rated at the second level of performance. Our goal here for a custom uh, coaching strategy would be to increase this third dimension by at least one unit. And when we do that, we see a jump all the way up to level five, but there's also another scale. In dimension eight, we can decrease this through conscious effort and willpower, two units, and now we see a prediction of performance all the way up to the highest level. So this would be the coaching strategy. Um, you don't focus on more than than two or three dimensions during the year, otherwise it gets too complicated. But this would be uh, an optimal strategy, individualized strategy for th these first two 
IT professionals out of a group of about 50 and the algorithm that was built is so accurate that out of the whole group it only miss categorized or classified one of the incumbents and the misclassification was by just one level. All the rest were dead on. So that's why we need the help of machine learning and artificial intelligence, these data mining models to help us coach, retain, and increase performance. So this is Chris with Quincy Analytics. We are predicting performance through analytics and helping decide you decide with data. Thanks and have a great day.